So for, for the new people, um, every 15 minutes, we're gonna have to shut down our um, stream because our Canaan Landmore's YouTube channel can't upload more than 15 minute videos right now because we we made a mockery we made a mockery and we used as an example um Sanitor driving getting pulled over police harassing him and all that stuff or whatever like that yeah i was looking right? for it i was like no, man, yeah. find it. right so so the reason why you can't find the video is because they filed a copyright infringement claim against us through YouTube that we use their video in our videos, right? Now, is there no, no, use? nobody else who disses them right. got no complaints because those videos are still up, right. right? So we know that that this forum, Canaan and Morris, that we got reached to the head guys in the conscious black BS. We know that they know that we're onto them <laughs> from their from their um, kidney stone water that they're selling Thank you. that they're not telling people, right? Now the kidney stones um, got pulled over. There's a video of Minister Enki getting pulled over, right? Them finding the products, them. Testing the products on the street. This is the, the police doing it. And then the water coming back to even have an acid in it or something like that. Or or e pills or some oh. some other some other, you know mind altering mind altering we'll say drug. Oh, man. Who had it in there? Wow. Minister Enki. What kind of water is it? Wow. What are water that they're selling? You know, they get they get this place. You know, they can just they have these water distilleries where you can get water from them and bottle it yourself and who are these people and then just conscious community people oh, said, yeah right. you know what i mean right um so so from from that the whole fake water stuff right that you know what i mean who else is going to put it out there but more it's because everybody else backs these clowns right um we got um, polite using dead people's social social security numbers, right? Like it's it's on 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 their file that U.S. has on them, right? Just like they have on anybody that's a U.S. citizen or whatever like that. You can make Freedom of Information Act requests and get people's info. Collection agencies do it all the time. Ain't no big deal. Right? Big Brother has been watching. Right? On that record, it says that the social security number that he has under the name that he was born with, a dead lady also has that number. So why are you letting him... Is that a serious major crime? Exactly. And Doesn't that mean that he's down with the guys? It has to be. Who's... Some right? Everybody's in the conscious community right now is getting their pass. Everybody in the conscious community right now is getting their pass. It's past time. And you know what that means inside, right? They passed. You know what that means? They passed. Wow, that's crazy. So we have 15 minute uploads right now. How long do they have that? Huh? How long do they have that for? What do you tell you? Right. You've been trying, you've been hit with whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? You gotta take down all these videos. Just gotta make a complaint. You know what I mean? If you have any issues with it, send him a message wow. asking him to retract the complaint. You, you know what the crazy thing is though? These, these are the same killer cracker guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That are, that are running to the European right now. Yeah, to run into the European. To fight against his own brother. Right. You need the same nerds. Crazy. They're talking about, yo, kill the cracker and kill the cracker. For me and but they're running to them. Crazy. Crazy. Right? Crazy. 
And again, putting the stuff out there so that the people can know that these people are agents. 100%. Right? On, on Rami Salam El's video about his son at a coin tell pro agent. Right? Sanader himself went on that and made a comment and said, yes, I'm an agent, so what? I saw it. Could you elaborate more on it? Yeah, he came out and said he's an agent. <laughs> on, on, on a YouTube thing that goes all over, the, that, that, that video at that time had 50,000 views or whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 that video. Yeah, did you cut that one down too? No, that one's, that one's still up, I think. Oh. Right? So he came out and said that he's an agent. And then people are still playing like Brotherhood, UMD, with the black guys. Who are, who are in direct conspiracy with the other side to keep this information out of the public. And that if this information does get to the public, it's getting to the public from one of their handler, fudge packing scholars. That they say is a scholar. But then when we bring the real scholars, they're never going to debate what they said about Moors. They might, they wouldn't even bring it up. They will bring up all this other stuff. Africans going into Europe and turning to Europeans because of climate change and stupid stuff like that. And then rep those guys as scholars. And then they're going to bring the guy that's going to say, well, you know, Jamaicans are Arawak, and Jamaicans are Caribs, and Maroons, and well, that means that they're Moors, because that they're Aboriginal Indigenous people. And if they're Aboriginal Indigenous, then they're Moors. How is it that you can be African, but you're not going to be Moor, when African and Moor are synonymous terms? But it's all about, say, all these things again, when no Juali presented to us that watch your enemies dear Moors they speak against your principles they're not really down with love they're really down with hate right they're really down with hate right and again classic examples that always um are presented to our people, but then they don't pay attention because they have selective thinking. They only think when it's convenient for them to try to get out of some something that they got themselves into. Other than that, they don't care about this, right? So, like we tell people. example since he made his transition we we'll use it as an example just like when dr. Ben made his transition we use him as an example to prove that these people know us up about more it's not a secret it's only a secret to Negro black color people who don't want to accept the fact conscious community people who don't want to accept the fact but this is all around them at all times and they don't ever ever pay attention to it right this is that this is admittingly by Muhammad al-Hadi himself that this is a slave name and that he does not want to be identified by the slave name anymore did he go to county recorder or whatever did he have some papers nationality card or something like that no he corrected his status. He corrected his divine status. By joining the NOI, right? A 
and he corrected his national status by using the name Ali. The nations of the world will not recognize the movement without I, the prophet, being head. Right? This has nothing to do with Moorish national. These guys are known to everybody in the world as black Muslims. And that's what they are. Now, nothing else. Don't relate them to anything else having to do with Islamic anything. All they are is black Muslims, that's it. Alright? Divine and national. Cassius Clay corrected his status to Muhammad Ali. After doing this, after doing this, he decides what they call draft dodge. So he got called up from the private corporation saying, we need people and you're picked. And he said, no, because I have a divine right. I have a divine right to a religion that forbids me to kill. So I'm not going. And then they said that they're going to take away all this stuff and whatever like that. And he didn't give a care about what they're going <laughs> to take away. He didn't care what European gave him. He didn't care about none of that stuff. He goes, take the stuff. I'll do my five years or whatever. Opposed to compromise my status and my religion. He never talked from from this part at all. He always spoke from this part. Right? But this is really what he was standing on. He was really standing on the national principles which are that directly connected to the divine. This is why you have instances of other people taking the same position that he took when he found out the truth about what was really going on. And that these people had something to do with the murder of one of his mentors. Which I think is what they're saying he had Parkinson's, but I think that it's his knowledge of what happened to his that's given close. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that you know him knowing what happened. Knowing what went down. It it'll, up his head. it'll tear you up. Knowing that you can't do anything either. Knowing that you just have to take that. You just have to take that on the chin. That these people that you that 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 because remember, his position was to take Malcolm's position, El Hab's position. He was put in to specifically do that. After they get him out the way, they slide Muhammad Ali in, and then now they have the heavyweight champion as a member of their stuff. You know what they're doing? It was, a good, it was a good game that they that they set up, right? And then under the guise of having, you know, Ali and speaking this this perspective of you know being for the people and whatever like that, then they can make these different connections with all these other different nations, right? But not really recognizing that 
they're a fraud for this. 